How are we doing today folks? My name is Raven and welcome back to another Robin Winch Sightlines video. In today's video, we get to look at the map Coastal. Now in my opinion, now in my opinion, Coastal is one of the best maps for Robin, right alongside Mountain and Marshland. Picture Marshland, we already went over that video and that map, you know how well the sightlines worked out for Robin there. Now increase that by a few percentages and you get a little bit more options and a little more fun on Coastal. Now, I'm going to warn you now, it's going to be a little bit of a longer video. I think we might go past 11 minutes or so. So, bear with me. Stick with me. But, you will get all the knowledge you'll need to help either your team or to help yourself in order to defeat these Robins. So, let's jump right into it. So, to begin, we're going to be looking at the top side of the map. We'll work our way back toward Village. So, for starters, we have the Docks extraction point which is right over there oh ignore that ping it's over there there yeah there we go so we check the map that's where that extraction is right off the bat we have one spot right here this is on the walkway up from encampment if you come through stairs right here and you come up through the doorway you can get a shot right on the winch right there you can clearly see the guy on the left side because there's the winch right there and even as you move up just a little bit, even to the edge here, you can hit right over that. Or even stand up on the railing a little bit here and get some shots on the other one as well. Moving up slightly, just a little bit. As you can see, we were right up there before, and now we're down here on this ledge. We can actually shoot the guy on the winch here. Now, if you move over a little bit, yeah, you can get both shots there. If you want to be a little bit more sneaky, you actually can shoot through this banner. As you can see, it did not get stuck. If it were to get stuck, well, it would have made that noise. But we don't get stuck here, so... Well, unless you get too, a little too close to these objects. But no, you could shoot through that banner right there. Now, I just wanted to show you guys this one quick. We're actually a little bit toward if B, the spawn for B, is up over there in the corner by the portcullis. Uh, this spot here, you could try to get as far as you can to the left, but you're not going to be able to get a good shot. I mean, you, you probably can get that guy on the left, but you can't get this guy on the right. And this whole sail will stuff your arrows. So right there, boom, it hits that sail. But as you can see, I can still shoot through the banners right there. And that goes for all the banners. Now a fairly simple spot. This works pretty much anywhere on the bridge, but I'll show you a quick little spot in the beginning here first. Uh, we're toward courtyard, toward the keep side here. Uh, right down that ladder or right down the ramp here. And we're borderlining on the, uh, the aspects of head glitching here, but if you're standing up here, you could peek right over. You could finagle a shot straight through, actually, and get both people on the winch there. Just make sure you're not aiming a little bit too low, because you're going to hit the box right there in front of you. But if you move along the wall, pretty much any spot's good. Again, I mean, <laughs> you can shoot through it, as long as you got a ping on them, or you kind of know where you're aiming, even if you move up here. Yeah, like I said, this, these are the obvious spots. Now, the last spot in order to shoot someone at the docks is actually here on the edge of the village extraction. Now, as a Robin main myself, I don't tell anyone to bring the chest to docks for this reason alone. If you go harbor, you can shield yourself from this side. Or if you go village, you know, at that point, it's, it's open range. But if you go docks with it for some reason, and they have a Robin on their team, you can actually hit them from here. Now, you can... I'll show, I'll show you what it looks like from that end, where we see this little the fish rack here and the arrow box right there. But you can finagle some shots through. And if you have your ult... Well, then you're in even better shape, and you'll probably get both of them on the winch. And in order to explain quick why I always go harbor or village, as you can see, we had we were standing like right over there, and we had a clear shot on the winch itself. Here, you can kind of get a shot, but you're only going to be able to get your ult off here. And I mean, there's. There is, like, the arrow box right here. It's blocking the way, so it's it's a really tight shot to get an ultimate in, but it's it's definitely... Your odds are, are better if you go harbor than if you take a dox. Thank you. You killed two of them. The took still one. Now, we're going to be looking at the harbor extraction. One of my favorites, alongside Village recently. But, to start, we're going to be up here on the typical sniper position on the keep. It's right up here, right across from A phase down there or a phase over there come up the ladder and our first shot is right here you can hit that side of the winch right there or you know in with an ult maybe get two of them following up at the sniper's nest up there along the wall of the keep we come over here like i said a phase over there or a phase toward the middle of the courtyard come out our doorway right here toward the stairs that lead down 
And actually, right here is a perfect lineup on both of the guys on the witch. Oh, got that. Bullseye. Nice. If we move up slightly from where we just were, at the top of the stairs, we can move over here. And we have this nice big cover in case you have any robins over there trying to shoot you or even right there. You're covered from that. You're good. If for whatever reason you happen to be coming from the Stay bottom of Keep alert. and you're coming through the docks winch, you can come up the stairs right here and get nice shots right here. Pretty close shots too, not too far away. And again, similar to the docks extraction, but pretty much anywhere on this bridge right in the middle, you have good clean shots on the winch. And finally, we have the village extraction. And strap in, guys, because we have a lot of spots for this one. Starting with the top of the wall at Keep. Similar to when we're firing at Harbor over there, we can fire straight at the winch from here. Doesn't get any easier than that. If you move over slightly from where we just were, right about over there, you can come over here to this wall, and you can still get clean shots right on the winch. All right, I just... I just 1v1 kilo. Oh boy. One left. Nice. May this arrow find its mark. Oh, Sheriff. Nice. We don't need that. I just wanted it. I know. No, it's good. It delays him. Enemy marks. Got both Robins down here. They're both marked. May this arrow find its mark. Nice. This one's a pretty sneaky spot. You'll probably catch a lot of people off guard with this and leave them wondering where you're shooting from. But if you come down the stairs from Keep right here, this is borderline head glitching, but we can shoot right through these little prongs, the railing in the, in the wall here. Similarly, if we just move down the ramp here, we still get a lot of shots right on the winch. And I'll just say it now, because it's gonna be a lot, like I said. Anywhere along this bridge, you pretty much have a straight on shot right to the winch. You can hide yourself really well, especially in these ramparts here, even from someone up there. If there's another Robin, or I mean, they might shoot you from up there, but if there's, for some, whatever reason, like over there, you still can hide yourself pretty well from them. Now we're back up at the top of the stairs here. Again, you know, it's, it's gonna be a lot of spots, but pretty much if you walk along this entire wall, you still have free range to shoot from wherever you want. There's nothing really that restricts you. Now they're coming. They're walking right it's past a very wide way. open area. We can continue moving along the top bridge here. Find ourselves in a similar situation. That way he won't oh, chase they're going, me. They're going for B for some reason. There we oh, go. Jesus. Do you get it? And see a kill by you. Where is he going? He went all the way back to home spawn. Ha! Ah. Just what I needed. There's two of them here. May this arrow find its mark. Now as we progress toward the garrison side here, we're kind of by the port colors right now. Now you start to lose more of your angle of your free range shots, and you actually have to move up close now. So you can start by being down here on the lowest platform that you can get to, along the along the river here. As so we have right here. Bullseye. May this arrow find its mark. Enemy marksman. If we move up the ladder, however. It's a pretty typical spot. I find myself in it a lot, and it's the easiest way to go back and replenish arrows, but you're also pretty close to the winch here. What I mean by replenishing arrows is, if you really want to, you can real run all the way over there, or you can go through the doorway there, and you have the one spot right on the spawn inside there. You guys should go grab C or something. What's going on here, man? I got a feeling I'm about to be headshot. I doubt it. Oh, no, they're right there. There's two there. There's a different one. Moving just outside from where we just were. This is the spot where that archer always spawns in the beginning of the match. But we're right here by the torch. And again, free reign to shoot wherever you want. 
It doesn't really hide you too well, though. Now, here we are on the bridge leading from encampment to stronghold. Again, easy shots. And pretty much anywhere along the bridge here for the ramparts. You finagle a little bit, but for the most part, you have nice shots right there. Moving over real close now to encampment side. If you happen to be spawning here, you need to run over to the winch real fast. And you just come running right here, and there's your shot. Right from there to here. I'm not going to say it's a good one, but it is an option if you come right into the middle here. You know, along where C spawn is, and right between village and encampment. I mean, <laughs> you could, right here, get a shot, theoretically, on both of them. And you can hide yourself in the bush a little bit, but you're just so close. Why you gotta be that close? Continuing our adventure around the map of the many winch sightline spots for village, we have right here, uh, C's right over there, and the village spawn is over there. Well, if you need to, you can come right over down these stairs real quick and pop some shots on them. Now we're on the west side, going back toward the keep, toward the village spawn here, and right by the little bridge, you used to go into keep. Uh, you have a lot of like little head glitchy spots here, but you can kind of finagle some arrows through right there. This spot's pretty good. Gives you good cover if someone's shooting you from the bridge over there or just straight at you. You can still hit them from right there. Now this one is fun. I personally like this one. If you were at the, just about at the entrance to the courtyard there, at the keep, coming up from village, here, you can get shots on them right here. Just, you can just barely see their heads, but it's a nice perfect spot. If you want a little bit more height, you can come up here onto this little ridge. And there you go, again. Nice little shots on their head. Okay. Oh, hello, John. Ah. Hi. And that means we've now come full circle on the village winch sight lines. And yeah, there are a lot. So let's move quickly on to the general support, which I have a couple little bit more areas we can look at. So as always, you can use the sight lines that I just showed you previously as general support spots as well. But if not, well, there's a couple other ones. Not too many, but we'll get to them. So to begin, if I spawn encampment as my home, then I would like to kind of hang around this tree a little bit, or even over there in that bush, if we're extracting village. This allows you to see straight on ahead if any robins come that way. Allows you to take out any robins that are up there on the sniper nest, or if there's any along the wall there, or the so short side of the bridge over there. Now, I mentioned this sight line before, the one at the top of the bridge here, but it's also a good support spot because, like I said, you can go run over there and keep refilling arrows. And this allows you to see if they're coming from sea and they're jumping down that ladder, it gets you a good shot right there. If they spawn encampment, or sorry, village, and they come right over there. You can take them out that way or from over there. The only bad part is you don't get this. But, I mean, if it doesn't matter which side I spawn. I always like to come over here anyway to support my team. Because if you're a good Robin, well, then that's going to force at least one player in the other team to come over here and try and stop you. Same thing as we get further kind of up over there or even like over there. This one's as easy as it gets if you're defending harbor down there and you have control of let's say B or even B over there. It's better, it's easier to control if you spawn the encampment side over there. If you spawn on village and you're trying to hold this, it's a little tough because they can come running up from you right there or flank you from behind through the garrison. But overall, it's a good defense spot. Uh, if they take A over there, they have to keep spawning. They, get, they have to either run out and down the ramp that way to get all the way over here. Or there'll be another robin up there, and hopefully at that point in the game, the portcullises are down, so they'll they'll need a john to get through that. So really, it's just kind of the straight shot if they keep spawning over there. Same thing, we can move up here, and we're a little bit close to the arrows, but again, it's just a little height difference, so give you clear shots up over there. Again, this is a good one for right there, so you can see it straight on. And this one's actually a little bit better if they're coming through the portcullis, get a little better angle. If the portcullis has happened to be open, maybe a little bit earlier in the game, you can use this spot on the middle bridge if you guys are kind of fighting over where to take it on docks or harbor. Harbor? Yes, harbor. <laughs> and you can use this to kind of finagle some shots left and right depending on where they're coming from. Now, I forgot to mention it when I was over there, but I'll mention it when I get up here. But from over there and up here, 
you can shoot people if there's one over there and let's say they're for whatever reason running across the ridge line right there you can take them out that way or if they're going that way toward that lower bridge you can take them out over there but again this is another nice little support spot uh if they're harbor sure you could do that too if they're rarely if you come to docks this is a nice spot for that because as always you can get them coming through there coming through that door there or coming off the spawn right there and you can turn around and see if poor calls is hopefully down you only have to worry about that door over there we can move over here like i said this sightline spot but this gives you a good shot right there and you can you know if you want to be a dirty head glitcher you could do one of these i mean look at that what that's better this little sneaky sight line that i found i actually like to use this as a support one too because you do have the arrows right over there and you have the arrows right over there if you need to refill this allows you to take out those robins that are camping up over there if they're shooting toward village and you can even hit the ones that are coming running straight at you over there so it's a good one to support your team as well but that will about do it for coastal i know this was a bit of a long-winded one but there are a lot of spots that you could shoot from especially if you're shooting toward village so thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed it that thumbs up button if you didn't enjoy it hit the thumbs down if you're not subscribed yet make sure you hit subscribe and links to my twitter discord and patreon as always are in the description below so i will catch you guys in the next one later